Hey there sewers and welcome to the sewing studio. Today's video is on how to draft a basic block using master patterns. We'll need very few tools. The front and back basic master patterns, masking tape, a yard stick, bust dart marker which I will take you through in a few minutes. Waste that marker, which I will also talk to you about in a few minutes. We will also be using a marker, a pencil, and an eraser. We'll use our tape measure. This is a 60 inch tape measure. You can use any tape measure available to you curve and then see through rule we use some tracing paper as well the measurements we'll need are the bust waist widest hip measurements etc now taking you through the blueprint you'll see notches Two armholes, you see a lot of text that tell you what to do. Grain line, our waistline with numbers on the side, our waist dart, notches on the hip, points to help us plot our widest hip grading measurements. At the lower side with numbers all beside them same on the back you will see our shoulder dart at the back the numbers and dots armholes a green line we will also have a waist dart at the back we have a waistline Plotted points all the way down, indicating your widest hip and your hem. For the bust dart marker, it shows you cup sizes. We have a cup size A, B, C, D, and double D. We also have the waist dart marker which shows uh, directions of how to line up with your waistline and how to line up with your apex. If these are done correctly, you will have straight darts. Let's get into it. My master pattern looks patched up. It's been through a lot. But they are available in plastic versions. I can link below where you can find them if you are interested in getting them. First of all, we are going to lay our tracing paper over our master pattern, our front master pattern. When that is done correctly, we should secure it with masking tape and then plot the points. The points that you will see that I have plotted are bust measurements. To do this, we need to plot the measurement for our bust on the upper side of our bust line, the armhole, the shoulder, the neckline, and then the entire center front. That is the measurement we need to plot those areas. The only your bust measurement is required. For your upper bust line, your armhole, shoulder, neckline, and the entire center front area. 
we're going to connect those nicely with our armhole curve or our French curve and then our straight see-through rule. Now when this is done correctly, we need to find our apex to mark half an inch on the shoulder and measure our shoulder to apex measurement which is 10 inches at the 10 inch mark we are going to measure our apex to apex which was 7 inches but half of that will be three and a half inches we'll measure that as well and put them at a central point knowing that our bust is a cup size B we are going to line our B cup with the side of our bust plot the points next to it and then we are going to leave one dot need to have our bust that pointing directly at our apex Bust that is nicely drawn, and then we are moving on. If we measure from our shoulder to our waist, we should have 16 inches, which is our measurement for shoulder to waist, and that sits exactly on our waistline for the block. If it was going to be longer, I would have shown you what to do, but as we go on, you will find out what happens when our measurement does not fit. The block exactly. We are going to draw our waist line along the waistline of our master pattern. Then we are going to check the dots on the side of the waistline to be sure it has our waist measurement of 27 and connect from our bust to our exact waist of 27. From here onwards, we are going to use our widest hip measurement for the hip and then for the hem area we'll connect that from our waist to our widest hip which is 39 we will plot 39 in the other dots that we see below our widest hip point so we're going to plot 39 there and 39 at the hem and use a straight line to just draw through moving forward making progress next thing is our waist dart as i said earlier our waist dart marker has line up with waistline clearly written on it so we're going to do that and we're going to point the line up with apex side directly at our apex and with that we can draw a beautiful dart nice and sharp perfect next thing we are going to do is to draw out our grain lines we already have grain lines on the master pattern so you're just going to trace them out we're going to bring out all of our notches we have our notches on the master patterns already so you just have to draw them out there's another one above our, our bust right there we have one in our armhole one on the shoulder line and that will be it for our notches the next thing we are going to do is to measure our shoulder to hem to create our hemline. Our shoulder to hem is 39, 36 inches. And we are going to leave a 1 inch hem allowance. So we will mark off our 36 and then mark off our 37 for our hem allowance. Usually, I use a straight rule first to draw out 
the outline of hem before I use the curve to draw the the actual hemline so that's what I'm doing right now you know hemlines are not straight they have a bit of a curve to them so we are doing it exactly that way so there we have it our front bodice block is done but we have one more thing to do which we need for our back block we will measure from under our armhole to our waistline without the bust dart so we'll skip the bust dart and come down giving us seven five eight of an inch we'll use this measurement to do our back block label our block nicely and put it aside so we can work on the back block now for the back block we need the same measurements as we did for the front we are going to plot our bust measurements again I know right no busts at the back but we use our bust measurements at the back we are going to plot our bust measurements all round from the entire center back to the upper side back so I'm plotting the points including the shoulder dart and the two armholes We are going to plot our, our waist measurement at the waistline and then we are going to plot our widest hip measurement from the widest hip points all the way down to the hem just as we did for the front and as usual we are going to connect the dots to create the outline of our block. I didn't mention to you about the armholes while we draw out our plot our points we have two armholes because one is for sleeveless designs and one is for sleeved designs any design that has a sleeveless uh, style line to it we use the outer armhole line any design that has sleeves we use the inner design so we are plotting all our points that measurement we took at the side of the front we are going to use now we had 758 so we are going to mark it on the side and just draw a line through that way we have our front and our back matching up correctly if we use the same measurements for the front as the back we're going to have them correctly you will notice that even though we marked our waist as 27 it's higher than the actual waist we should use so we're going to square in this extra measurement of 5 8 of an inch so first of all we'll connect the correct one which is our 7 5 8 measurement We'll draw our waistline at the new 758 point, still on our 27 waistline. And then we have to do the hip now. Normally, when our measurement goes up or down, we have to square up or down the next measurement. So our waist went up by 5 eighths of an inch, so our hip has to go up by 5 eighths of an inch the same will happen to our hem but normally the hem doesn't usually show any difference so we are going to connect from our new waistline to our new hip line and then we'll connect from there to our 39 points at the hem Now that that is done, the next thing we would have to do is uh, waste that. 
on our way start marker it says line up with apex but we don't have an apex at our back so we are going to draw a straight line from the tip of the shoulder dart down through our waistline so that will give us a fair idea of what we are pointing at so that when we line up with the waist it should point directly at the tip of our shoulder dart Okay, so we're going to draw our waist dart in. The next thing we're going to do is to complete our hem. So we're going to mark half an inch at the shoulder and bring the measurements down to 39. Sorry, 36. We'll mark our one inch hem allowance at 37 and draw our straight lines with a pencil and put in our curved lines with our French curve. Unfortunately, my front didn't get down completely, so I just have to extend it. Make yourself some friends or you will be lonely once I was seven years old. So we're almost done. We're going to draw out our green lines. Put the arrowhead on top and bring out our notches which is very important bring out all our notches we have one on the side two at the armhole for the back and one on our shoulder right next to our shoulder dart okay Now that that is done, we will label our block nicely and that's it. We are done with our basic back and our basic front. With these two patterns, we can make many, many designs. We can make jackets, we can make trench coats, we can make... The next thing we are going to do is to... complete our hem so we're going to mark half an inch at the shoulder skirts we can make gowns we can split them up and make separates if we separate them at the waist we can have separates we can have tops from this to go with pants and many many designs that we'll go through here on this channel thank you again bye